Angelia D here, the media icon with iconic television. You guys, we're here in LA for the BET Experience for the BET Awards weekend. I'm so elated to be a part of this magnificent and iconic event. You guys, I can't wait to show you the interviews and what we have going on. So stay tuned. You're watching iconic television. Iconic television. You did. Here the media icon. We're here with Iconic Television here at the BET Awards weekend, and I have the one and the only, Mr. Derez Rashan. How you doing? I'm good, Lord. How you? I am great. You just came off the floor performing at your best. May I say, how you feel? Oh man, I appreciate that. I feel real good, blessed, and honored to be here. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Not too many people make it this far. This is very true. And I was actually about to say, you know, you're one of the best artists out there right now, especially up and coming. I mean, you're you're good. So how do you feel about that? Just being in that life. I mean, you know what I'm saying, um, I don't know, I never look at it like that, you know what I'm saying, I just look at it like that, what God gave me the talent to do, so I did what I'm doing, I ain't gonna let it just, you know, disappear or not use it, so I'm just doing what I do, man, you know what I'm saying, enjoying every moment, because every moment is a moment. That's true, I love that, and then my last question, you mentioned God, how important is it to actually keep your faith throughout this whole process, because I know this industry is crazy. Oh man, you gotta keep your faith every day, every step through it, because like, if you lose faith, then you lose everything, you lose sight, you lose focus, and you give up on yourself, you know what I'm saying? So I keep faith even when it's rough, even when it's hard, it's something I need to go through to get to the next level. So that's how I look at it. Archie guys, Julia Davis here, the media icon with Iconic Television. I'm here with the beautiful, the one and only Miss Cash Doll. How you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. How about the love from your fans, how does that make you feel? Man. Um, like Superwoman. Well, that's because you are. That made me feel like Super Cash Doll. <laughs> <laughs> My fans make me feel like Super Cash Doll. Super Cash Doll. Yeah. You can do it all. All of it, yeah. How are you enjoying your BET weekend? I'm loving it. I'm just happy to be here. I'm free. I'm out my situation, I'm yes. dropping music, I'm yes. in BET, it's time. Let's talk about some things that you have working on. Okay, so right now, man, I'm working on this project. It's gonna be called Expect Nothing, Appreciate Everything. Um, yeah, so it's a very decent project. It talks a little bit about my life, um, give you a little brief intro, uh, more so uh, than my first project, Opportunities. And uh, yeah, actually while I'm out here, I'm shoot uh, one of the songs that's gonna be on it. It's my single right now with Johnny Blaze called um, Hollywood, so it's pretty dope. That's dope, you and Johnny Blaze. Oh yeah, that's my dog. Oh yeah, that's my dog. That's my dog. Yeah. And I have my boy here, E. Ice. How you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing wonderful. Nice to be here. Let's talk about your music. Because I know you've been doing it since 2010. How do you... Since a youngin'. Young so how do you maintain? Like, how do you just keep going? Man, it's a passion I got, so this is what I do, man. Like, I feel like if you don't really got a passion for it, then you just doing it for the money or something like that, then it's gonna show, you know what I'm saying? So, this is my passion, so I'm gonna do it forever, man, as long as I can. I'm gonna be involved in the music some kind of way, whether it's writing, producing, making the music, something. I, I just love it, so. Reporting live from the BET Experience with Iconic Television, we are the Syncopated Ladies. Hey. Hey. All right, you guys, Julia D here, the media icon, and I'm here with Miss Chloe Arnold. How you doing today? I am amazing. How are you? I am good. You look so beautiful and so radiant. Now, you just came off the BET floor from the Celebrity Game. Y'all did a halftime performance, um, and you were tap dancing. Let me first ask you, when did you start tap dancing? Well, I started tap dancing when I was six years old, so I've been doing it my whole life, and it's something I love, and it's a, it's an African-American art form so I love being able to do it right here at BT. Yes that was amazing I really want to ask you um so you tap dance of course that's not your what's it average talent I guess I can say that um how, has anybody tried to deter you like once you started tap dancing did anybody was like you don't want to do something else you know that's such a great question um absolutely you know people are like don't you want to do ballet you can be do this company or do you want to do just other things that were more popular but it was always my love and so I always tell people do what you love because when you do what you love, you will succeed and you will find it. And now we're able to share our voice with the masses because we did not give up. Right, right. 
you know, I know that you're like a huge comedian right now. I don't know if you know that, but I know that. What I is am? someone? Yes, you are. Okay. You are, and you're iconic at that. Pun intended. Iconic. Much. Um, so tell me, what is someone that you actually looked up to though, coming oh, up? Well, I go. I mean, I gotta go way back to the first comedian I saw when I came to America. Who was Eddie Murphy? Mm. You know, shout out to Richard Pryor who started it all. Mm -hmm. But you know, I came to the Eddie Murphy era. You know, so it was like, I mean, he was just incredible. <laughs> and then he went on to like, you know, Bernie Mac, of course, rest in peace. You know, uh, another talent. Mm -hmm. You know, can't forget Chris Rock, who's still doing his thing. Yes. Um, Dave Chappelle, of course. You know, I mean, those are guys now that I, you know, I try to learn from. Mm -hmm. But when I go back in the day, I gotta go with Eddie Murphy was one of the first ones that I saw okay. way before I even thought about comedy. You know, mm -hmm. but I thought he was hilarious. And, I'm Catherine Bayless from Hit the Floor, and you are watching Iconic. How you doing? I am so good. Better now that I met you, Miss Wonder Woman over here, owns her own television station. I mean, come on. How is that the new season? Like, are you excited? Are you, I'm excited. Ah! I'm like so excited. So Asha's not on the cast this year. What's going on with that? So, um, no, unfortunately, Taylor's not coming back. Taylor Page is to come back, but we are we are going to see Logan Browning and Dean Kane. And we have some new people, Tiana Taylor and Kendall Ferguson, and uh, McKinley's coming back, McKinley Freeman, and Jody Leno O'Keefe, and Brent Antonello, and all the double girls. So it's a hot season. Jonathan McDaniel, oh my God, I'm gonna have to say everybody. Court, right, <laughs> Christian, right, miss a name. we have a big cast. We have a really big, big cast. But so how is it working with Tiana Taylor? I know that's she's amazing. Like she's amazing. Um, she's a devil girl, so obviously she she's a part of our team and our squad. And um, I think it's like the, one of the first times she's ever really had to like do like choreography, choreography because most of her stuff is her stuff and her thing and she killed it and I can't wait for this fans to see it. There are like little clips, we have a super trailer out right now, you can kind of get a sneak peek. Mm -hmm. Yeah girl. So my last question is, since we are iconic television, tell us how do you think you're iconic? Oh how am I? I am? Are you going to make me blush? I'm going to get as red as this shirt. Um, I don't think I'm an icon but you know I do want to inspire like young kids growing up like Follow your dream always. Never take no for an answer. Um, negativity is wrong. I mean, I, that's I, I'm from a small town in Mississippi, and I was like, I'm just gonna move to New York and see what happens. But you have to be focused, and just don't listen to what too many people have to say. Just stay true to yourself. I want to ask you, what do you think it means to be iconic? What I think iconic means it means unique. Um, legendary, because when you are iconic, people would never forget about you. In my opinion, an iconic person will be probably Celia Cruz, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston. Iconic is something that cannot be duplicated. Let's just say that. I honestly feel like then you're iconic. Because you can't be duplicated. Exactly, you know. You can't be but I didn't want to say me because, you know, I want to give it to other for you. people. I got you. Yes, you are iconic. Hey, what's up, you guys? You're Lady D, the media icon. We're here at the BT Experience. I have the beautiful, the queen, Miss Lil Mo. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm good. Are you? I am good. You're looking beautiful. Yeah, Your lashes on. Yeah. It is a little spicy, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's spicy. That's <laughs> what I say. Bobby, it's spicy. <laughs> So I want to ask you, how are you enjoying yourself at the BT? So far, so good. I mean, I've been rocking with BT. I would say for the past 20 years. So to see its evolution, but to see it's still relevant. To see like all these young people out here, just to see everybody out here, and it's all just like for the appreciation of Black Music, Black Music Month, the awards. Like it's lit. So I always love being around us. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Especially for like stuff like this. Definitely, definitely. Now you're new part of the Love of Hip Hop New York. How's that going? So far, so good. I mean, we survive. A lot of people don't understand. Like, if you could survive loving hip hop, you could survive anything. So, <laughs> y'all saw a little bit. Just imagine the things you didn't see. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, with that, it's just like, yo, I enjoyed the experience and I'm looking forward to doing more and more. Of course. Love Mo was going to do some more. Yeah. Ah, I feel yeah. you. Yeah. Now my last question, because the station is called Iconic Television, okay, and I personally feel like you are very iconic Thank in you. everything I that you've done. Living. Yeah. Living. I, I. So I want to ask you, what do you think it means to be iconic? Man, it just means to be like a lot of people are afraid to accept the fact that when you are who you are and you're living out your dreams and you're fulfilling your destiny, it's gonna come adversity with that. You just gotta know that this is what you're supposed to be doing. A lot of people 
they really don't know what they want to do. When we was young, when you get big, what you want to do? Like, I knew I was going to be doing this at a young age. So to anybody that's watching like that, I know it sounds cliche, but follow your dreams. Like, it really does come true. You literally can speak everything into existence. Like, I live by that. To be on Connets, for me, it will be an icon, something to leave your your kids, your grandkids, um, to leave the world. Um, they say, an uh, old cliche, you say, let the life I live speak for me. And to do that and to be a part of the experience and build your brand and, you know, give back as well, you know, because you can't continue to give, to take out of community and don't give back. Um, that's interesting because I... I don't consider my, myself an icon, but I say to the, the people that I look at as icons, I would say um, adding consistent value, uh, education, entertainment, um, making people grow, challenging their thinking. I think pushing the limits of whatever your skill set or your passion is, whatever your craft is, mine being art. Um, so some of the acting icons that I consider icons, they do that for me. They, they challenge me. They make me think bigger things are, are possible, better things are possible. So that's what I think it is. What's up, you Marasokas? This is your African king of comedy, Michael Blackson. Right now you're getting jiggy with the one and only iconic. What you looking at? Archie Gosh, lady here, the media icon, and this segment is brought to you by Brie Naturel. Let the earth take care of you with Brie Naturel products. Bring your skin back to life. Be natural with Brie Naturel. Thank you, Brie Natural. Thank you so much, Brie Natural. Look, look at my skin. You see that? And it's glistening. You know what I'm saying? It smells good. I look good with it on. And uh, I appreciate you for making it. So appreciate you, Brie Natural.